Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is Kenny from KVSMC. Hey, I just want to hope everybody is doing well. This is a video um, at, um, from the hurricane without any power or any of that kind of stuff. Y'all, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'll pray for everybody that's out there in Haiti and all the lives lost in Cuba and Florida and up in here and everybody without power. But you know, electricity is like this. It's uh, you never you never knew how much you missed it until you lost it. So that's I've had several hurricanes up here over the years, ice storms, whatever have you. But there's no need. We got so much so much technology nowadays. There's no need to not have a backup system on your uh, property or your house. But anyway, um, I started this system back in 2009, and. Uh, you can run stuff. It's a three all together. This is three thousand five hundred and ten watts of solar, and that's. I mean, you can run your refrigerators, deep freezers, TVs, uh, computers. Uh, if if you have internet signal, that is. But there's really no need to go without electricity if you don't have to. So, and you can buy a small little solar generator type deal. Um, or you just make your own, get your inverter or battery and some fuses. fuses. Uh, go online, there's so much research material, Alt-E on uh, store, has a lot of products like that. A lot of other stores have products, a little small 600 watt inverter, 12 volt battery, uh, uh, just all kind of things. I started up with a little small system years ago with like a 2000 watt uh, generator, but yeah, it, it be coming great and coming handy. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I started doing the system years ago, if all all y'all who follow my videos. It's just like good to have power and the power's out. And this is a grid tie battery backup system. Saves money when it's up and running. And then if you see my electric bills, uh, then also when your power's out, you still got a means of power. Now you can't go run run your whole um, heat pump and your whole house everything, but you can run your lights, uh, TVs, your basic things, you know, fans to keep you cool or in the um, in the hotter months or whichever. All right. Well, I'll show you what kind of power we're making today. We lost power a couple times during Hurricane Matthew. They weren't forecasting to come up here, in Virginia, but I was I was uh, watching the weather. And I said, I have never seen a hurricane do a U-turn. Well, a complete U-turn like they're forecasting. Usually when a hurricane comes up the East Coast, rule of thumb, nine times out of 10, it's gonna follow the Gulf Stream. And the Gulf Stream comes all the way up there from around Florida, around Key, Key Largo, Key West, all that area. And it comes right up the East Coast, north to south. And hurricanes like to follow warm water. Uh, I think what the weather people predicted was a, a front going to push it off, which it kind of did, but it still hit Virginia, which is not uncommon. All right, now a little rundown on the system. I got two systems. This is my, my bigger system. Um, as you see here, at the 380 amp hour battery bank, 12 volt. I mean, excuse me, 24 volt. Had a brain cramp already, but I built this battery bank. And you got three 12 volt batteries in there going to series, excuse me, yeah, series parallel to make it 24 volt. Each battery is 12 volts. And each battery is like 190 amp hours each. So, time you put in a 24 volt equals a 380 amp hours. We're racking up the power. It is 1.19 in the afternoon. We're making 2,500 watts. Uh, my new array that with Montana Solar, MT Solar, and Kira Sierra solar panels is making 800 watts of power. That's a whole lot of juice, y'all. I could run a, sm uh, a nice winter unit 
in your home if you're without power right now. Keep cool. Um, this is my 1610 watt array. That's chunking out 1090 watts of power. Um, right here, this is a little flatter array. Like about a 69 degree angle on the roof. That's, that's chunking out uh, 670 watts of power. And these are all out, out back power uh, charge controllers and inverters. That's a GBF Outback GBFX 3524. And it's doing the job. But so far today, um, let's see what kind of power we're making. So far today, we made 12,000. 650 watts of power. So, the time the sun rises, even if it's cloudy, you can make a good amount of power to keep your refrigerator deep freeze going, your, your necessities. Ice makers, oh my goodness. Man, having ice they're in, a, in a power outage situation is nice. Really nice. But, and there's my generator in case conditions get too bad I can crank that at night and just charge my batteries right here all right so let's get on out of here that's my newest or everything's still wet around here it's like walking around uh, it's like walking around mush the ground salt like sponge but there's still uh, 175,000 people right now in Virginia Oh, that's Norfolk area, Virginia Beach. This area, Chesterfield County, I live about 70 miles west of uh, Virginia Beach, Norfolk area. I live in a Tidewater area. Where Chesterfield County is right on the line of Tidewater and Piedmont region. But yeah, the array is, that's making 800 watts of power right now all day long. Until the latter part of the day, like, you know, going towards sunset. All right, let's take you inside the house. I'll show you my transfer switch, what I got. Okay, folks, we're inside the house now. This has come from my solar shop. This is a Reliance transfer switch right here. And you can hook all your power. Let me see here. What you do is I got all my critical loads on that Reliance transfer switch. I'm a critical lose, and that's coming from my inverter. This is. So, as soon as the power, right now I got a line, which is which is the, the power company. But as soon as I lose power, I'll go to bam, 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 bam. No power loss. Bam. Not even, a, not even hardly a light flicker. So yeah, I mean, that's just a little explanation right now. And we have all our circuits on right now, folks. Look, and with LED lights, um, TV and stuff running, we're hardly drawing any power. I mean, that's less than uh, about 300 watts um, is all we're drawing. It's LED light bulbs, um, got some fans, a couple of ceiling fans running, that kind of stuff. But anyway, just a demonstration. Go back to the line. And this runs all your modems, your refrigerators, just simple things. I even have it. I even have it wired up to where we can run our uh, range hood, which has got an LED light in it. So yeah, I mean it's a must when you're cooking. And my main thing is when the power's out. Hey. Wife might want to cook a pie or a cake, or I might want to cook a bowl of stew or a pot of beans or anything, a cup, cup of coffee with an old style percolator. But a gas range oven is gas, stove top is gas. I love my electric stuff, but when it comes to a power outage, there is nothing better than a gas range. Just food for thought, y'all. Gas range. Uh, if you're living in a hurricane area, ice storm area, you want to have a gas stove. 
Can't beat cooking with gas. Anyway, that's some little pointers. And we also have a gas grill. That's outside right now. And that's undercover. That's hooked to the, the big propane bottle. But anyway, just some, just some little pointers. Just some little pointers. Uh, we had six inches of rain. Just the feeder bands alone. The feeder bands alone. Uh, we had lost a tremendous, I mean, I got a tremendous amount of rain. Enough for, we had 40 mile an hour winds where trees were knocked over. We didn't lose any trees, thank goodness. And we we're still good to go. But we still got, it's plenty windy. Um, I didn't, should have made a video yesterday, but I didn't. But here's my uh, propane tank. It's a 120 gallon propane tank. So the fitting, there it goes underneath the house. That that goes to my gas range. And this line goes from gas logs. In case it gets cold, we have another power another way to keep them everything keeping our house warm. Then if the gas logs fail, but then we got the gas range in there to keep everything cool. I mean warm, excuse me. But yeah, I just want to do a little update on the after storm. You see the leaves from the fruit trees. They're all over the ground. It's nothing compared to you know what we've had in the past, but I'm just thank goodness we didn't have anything worse than that. But uh yeah, uh it's not good. I got and here's our emergency backup for hot water. Um, I can take that and hook that in. If you want hot water, propane is a great way to have hot water. That's an on. That's an eco temp. Eco temp. I can't see, see the name on it. It's eco temp. Propane or LP, and I can back feed from here. This line here to there. That's some hot water. So, I got some other videos of that, how that works. So, but anyway, I can, we still got a way to take a hot shower and hot bath. Um, or you can take one out here if you want to. Oh, you know, it's it's for what it is. I mean, lose power for two or three weeks, not good. So, always stay prepared. And like you say, electricity is one of those things you don't know what you lost. Like a country song, or one of them country love songs. You don't know what you lost until you... You don't know what you, you're missing until you lost it. And electricity is one of them. That's one thing I try not to go without. You know, this is a little update. Had over six inches of water inside the pool. Just got that covered up. Made a video on that too. I'm going to publish that pretty soon. That puppy was full of water. It was full of water. And I just use a simple siphon hose. Uh, full, full of water at my garden hose and I took it over here and it's dropped in and gravity takes care of the rest But those the new empty solar they held in the 40 mile an hour winds. Hey, it was great It's great scene in action and the wind turbines They did great I put the brakes on at night when the hurricane come through and They did really good and then after the storm lay down a little bit, then I, then I turned my wind turbines on. But it got it got it, it called a 40 and 60 mile an hour gust. So I just went in and put the brakes on. Uh, there's, there's no need for that much power. So safety first. So anyway, uh, I just want to give you all a update on how everything was going during the hurricane and y'all a. Hey, Y'all, y'all getting questions, comments, that's what I'm here for. This is what my channel's here for, to help people, the victims that have been in hurricanes. I'm not any profit organization, nothing like that. I'm just here to help people and guide them in the right direction, what to get, and what not to do, what to do. So, I've been down the area, I've spent that money before, and hey, you, you, you live and learn. So y'all, y'all have a good day, and I, I I, I, my prayers are being sent y'all's way. Hey, y'all take care now. Y'all hope y'all doing good and uh, keep your heads up and everything's gonna be fine.
All right, now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify. Amen.